the last video, we looked at all the tools and features Runway ML has to offer and got oriented to the homepage and where everything is. If you missed that one, there's a link at the top of your screen that will take you back to that video. Now we're going to generate videos in Runway ML, starting with text to video. So how about we go to generate videos and see what we can do. This brings us to a page that looks a lot like the home page. The difference being our options here are limited to those things that are involved with creating videos. So let's say text or image to video. The first box in this window is where you would drag and drop an image or you can upload a file or select it from assets that you've already uploaded. Next is your prompt. Describe your shot. It says use camera control and motion brush for more precision. We'll get to those in just a moment. In Runway, you can save your prompts and your settings as custom presets. That's pretty handy, especially if you're working on a project that's going to have multiple generations that you're going to piece together later, and you want to generally keep the same subject style settings, whatnot. You can save that as a preset and help make your whole project be more consistent. The little wind icon down here and the number next to it is how much motion you want in your generation. If we click that, it'll tell us that you can increase or decrease the intensity. Higher means more motion. It's set at five by default. You can grab this slider and move that up or down. You can also just, without clicking that button, you can just click anywhere within that little number and slide that up or down out there. We're gonna leave it on five. That'll be perfectly fine. We should probably go ahead and put a text prompt in here so we know what we're starting with. If you're at a loss and just want to experiment, you can click this little light bulb here and it'll drop in a text prompt for you. So in this case, it said a giant planet with glowing rings of ice and rock zooms through a starry space surrounded by colorful nebulae and distant twinkling stars. Nebulae? Nebulae? I don't know, some nebules. And then this is pretty interesting. It would click this light bulb again. It kept everything that was in the original suggestion, but then it adds another sentence that says the planet's surface shimmers with vibrant hues while comets streak by, leaving sparkling trails. The nebulae, why has it got to do nebulae, nebula, neb, nebula, nebula, whatever, uh, swirl like cosmic paint, creating a, let's click that light bulb again and see if it finishes it. Yeah, not so much. I guess we're at the end of our prompt length. All right, let's take that out because I'm not really interested in doing a giant planet. I'm going to say a student rides a bicycle on a college campus. Then let's have a look over here on the left at our general settings. The resolution, if you're on the free plan, is at 720p. If you want to go up to 2K, you need to upgrade. Then we have the prompt weight for the preview images. The higher this number is, the more it's going to pay attention to your prompt. And the lower this number is, the more it may deviate from whatever you typed in your prompt. We can go to 30 or we can go down to 1 and it is set by default at 8.5 and I think that's a great place for us to start. Now keep in mind that this is only applying to your preview images, not to your final video. And the way this process normally works is once we have our settings dialed in and we know what we want, we should be able to click free previews and we'll get some preview images of what direction runway is going to go. And that won't cost any credits. And that can be really handy because without wasting any credits, you can find out if it's completely off and the images you're seeing, no, they're not going to make a video you want. Let's go ahead and stop that and make a change. And once you're happy with the previews that it gives you, then you continue on generating the video. However, the free previews are not always available. For instance, you see it's not enabled right now, and if I click the button, I get this pop-up that says free previews are temporarily unavailable due to increased demand and wait time. Try again later. So that means right now, I can't get a free preview. Okay. You can also add a negative prompt for your preview images. Again, this applies just to the previews, not to the videos. You can change the fixed seed if you are trying to stay consistent with another video that you have generated. You can also select whether you want to interpolate or smooth out the frames, add in extra frames. And then there will be a watermark if we're generating on the free plan. You would need to upgrade in order to have that watermark removed. Next, let's look at the camera control setting. 
This is a pretty wild level of control for an AI generative video thing. You can tell it here what kind of movement you want and how intense you want that movement to be. So this is like you are operating the camera. You are behind the camera. And what do you want that camera to do? You can have it move horizontal to the left or to the right, vertical, up or down. You can tell it to pan, where the camera will sort of stay in a fixed position, but then turn toward the right or toward the left. You can tilt, which is like the vertical version of panning. You can zoom, get closer or further away, and you can roll the camera one way or the other. You can dial these settings in as much or as little as you like, and you'll see a preview above of what it's actually going to do, what do these things mean and how they affect your video. The next option you have is the motion brush. We would need to have an image here to work with the motion brush, so we're gonna skip that for the moment because we're just generating from text. Your next option is style, and you have quite a few styles here to pick from. Cinematic is very popular. You can have cartoon, claymation, digital art, there are just tons and tons of options here. And if for some reason you don't like any of the styles that exist, you can also come over to custom and train a model on your style. I think we're just going to leave it on cinematic, which is where it was when we came in. Then we'll look over here at our next option, which is the aspect ratio. And we can have that 16 by 9, the typical landscape, vertical, square, 4 to 3, 3 to 4, or 21 by 9. I think 16 by 9 will work just fine. And then this last option would be the custom presets. If you have any saved, we do not. You can also create them from here. So let's go back up on this menu. We don't necessarily have to return to the text prompt, but that's where I'm going to go. It's up here on the top. If we click that, now we're back into just where we have the prompt box and an image if we've uploaded it, and we can say generate. Now again, I would do free preview if it was available right now, but it's not. So generate is what we'll do. Now you get a message saying that your video will be queued in about one minute, and if you want things to go faster, upgrade, and then it gives you this little progress of how your video is going and tells you it'll be saved to the Gen 2 folder in Bob's Assets. Now, this will be whatever your name is, Assets. Won't be in Bob's Assets all the time. Up here at the top of the screen, I've got this little message that says 28 seconds left. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to log you out in 28 seconds or the world's going to end in 28 seconds. That means that by their calculations, each second of video generation uses five credits and you have 141 credits left. That means you'll get about 28 seconds. But if you use other features within Runway that use credits, your credit balance will go down and then you'll have fewer seconds left to generate with. So it's got a video for us. Well, his face is kind of a mess and I'm not sure what he's doing with the pedals there. And the wheels are not moving. The bike is sliding. He's got a fancy new bike. I don't know. From right here, we could choose to extend this video, add more seconds to it. I absolutely would not want to do that because it's not good or we could go to lip sync which wouldn't make sense for this video the character's not facing us and his face is just a mess we can rate it i'll spare that up top we can choose to reuse these settings if we click on see full prompt it'll just show us our prompt along with basically all the settings that we used we could download this we could favorite it or we can just remove it from our feed and get out of here and I feel like given the work that this one needs and my limited number of remaining credits, I might be better off to just try something a little different. So I'm going to come back over here to the prompt window. Let's try a beautiful woman in a t-shirt and blue jeans walks down the sidewalk in a small town with her dog by her side. For this one, I'm going to go to camera control and I'm going to set it to pan left a little bit and maybe go horizontal right. I don't want to get too crazy with this motion. I just want to try out a few things and see how it does. So let's go ahead and generate that. Beautiful woman in a t-shirt and blue jeans. All right, it got my prompt. It says it's cute. It'll start in approximately one minute. Upgrade for shorter wait times. And that your export will be saved in the Gen 2 folder, Bob's Assets. This one took about two or three minutes to create. I didn't time it exactly but i think it was about two or three minutes 
When it first pops up, my initial reaction is, though, the woman's head is cut off. But I see this woman is just an extra, and it's this woman way back here that has a super long leash, and the dog apparently would rather hang out with this lady than with the one that brought him. So we're not off to a good start, but let's play through and see what happens. Okay, the dog's legs are morphing in and out of existence. This woman's feet kind of melt and return. This woman loses a foot whenever she steps forward. Whatever foot's in the back disappears. That face is completely blurred, hopefully, uh, and it morphs in and out. I don't know what's going on with this hand over here. It's either like a horrible watch tan line or she's got some kind of problem. Uh, the cars look decent, except for the camera movement with the cars has this one really looking like it's backing in to the one behind it. So let's maybe take the dog out of the mix and see if we can get something a little bit better. I'm just going to say a beautiful woman walks on the sidewalk in a small town. I'll turn that cinematic style off. I'll leave the camera controls set to nothing and let it figure it out. And that should do it for settings. All right, let's hit generate and see what it does. I'm already seeing some problems in the face. There's something really weird going on with the eyes and I'm not sure about this side of the face with the lips, but we'll see. Oh, she morphed into something totally different. She starts off with uh, really curly hair. She takes a step and turns and her whole face changes and the hair just went straight. Wow, got a strange foot problem happening right here. She brings her right foot forward and I don't know. It looks like maybe the sole comes up and then it just melds and becomes part of the sidewalk. Something strange is happening there. But what caught my attention very early on was that her head and hair just changed. So, I mean, I, I love the blurred background. That's pretty cool. And she's generally pretty crisp and detailed, but I'm definitely not loving it. Now I'm going to go back to generate videos and I'm going to click this gen two and I'm going to grab the last one we generated of the woman walking down the sidewalk. So now it's using this as our original input. And then over on the right style reference, we can leave that on image search our assets or look at anything that's been shared. We can use a preset like Android, Claymation, Metal, any of these that we're into. Or we could type a text prompt. I think maybe we'll look at style reference. We'll look at presets and maybe we'll make this a Claymation. Then our basic settings are just the style strength and the style strength dictates how much we can change this original image based on the style reference that we have chosen. That's currently set at 75%. That is the default. Now, if we click advanced under the settings, we can adjust the structural consistency. And this is looking at basically the overall composition between the original and what you'll be generating, you know, what's there and where things are. The style weight is the same as what we saw in the settings before we opened up advanced. And then of course, seed if we want to randomize or use a specific seed. And then frame consistency is supposed to help us avoid morphing. They say that one can lead to morphing and they recommend going between one and 1.25. You can go up to two. I think we're gonna go to 1.25. Now, if we want to upscale, we would need to have an upgraded plan. If we want to remove the watermark, we'd need to have an upgraded plan. Can't do either of these things on the free plan. If we want our generation to just apply to the foreground or background, we can select those individually. And we can also add a compare wipe. So we have that little slider wipe that goes from the original to the generated video if we wanted to do that. Fortunately, when we switched over to a preset of Claymation, then that enabled this free preview button. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and see what it came up with. All right, so up top here is our original video. And down at the bottom, we have some previews of what we might expect with the settings we've chosen. And we can pick any one of these to generate from. So there's the first one. Then we have the second one. We've got a blue jacket on. We've got a third one where we've got a blue jacket and a red bag or something. 
And then this one, oh, wow, got some strange yellow pants and big black boots and whatever. I just don't know. We'll just grab this third one here and we will generate from it. So I'm just going to click generate. It says the video is queued. And we should probably note here that what we've selected is creating in Gen 1 video. So being the first generation, I imagine the quality is not stellar. It's already incredibly blurry. Yeah, I can't even really make out what's going on there. Next, we're going to check out Runway ML's video editor and their edit videos tools, which are separate things. Click the video that's on your screen right now, and I'll see you there.